Well, welcome to another Slick Answers. This is a uh, Google Hangout that we do every Sunday night with Matt Slick from Karm.org. But Gary, you can unmute yourself and go for it. No, I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just appalled to be honest with you. Like, my, like, Brenda is a female. She is a female. I know you may not see her as biologically one. But she is a female in every demonstrable sense. She lives as a female, she dresses as a female, she's transitioning into a female. So what sense is she a man? Because she was born as one? Typically. It's, it's my sexual orientation to not agree with that, to find that to be reprehensible and, and um, inappropriate. So what do you think, Gary? Should I go against my sexual orientation? What do you mean your sexual orientation? Your sexual I mean, you're straight, aren't you? You're heterosexual. Yeah, I'm a heterosexual by sexual orientation. And along with that, my sexual orientation is to uh, be repulsed by homosexuality and transgenderism. That's the way I, I was born. That, so that's not, you, that's, not what, that's not what your sexual identity is, right? Your sexual identity Yes, is it is. I identify that way. Absolutely, I do. You better believe I do. I'm telling you right now, that's how I identify myself. Oh, yeah. So you identify yourself as somebody who, your sexual orientation is against My sexual orientation is to be heterosexual, attracted to women, and repulsed by homosexuality and transgenderism and transvestism and all that. That's my sexual orientation. So what do you think? Should I, is that okay for me? No, I don't think it's okay for you because again- Oh, you, it's not, why you, not? You That's my sexual orientation. Why isn't it okay? Because that is not what a sexual orientation is. Sexual oh. orientation is who, who you choose to sleep with. Sexual orientation is who I choose to sleep with? But mm -hmm. wait a minute, that's not what orientation is. It's not who you choose, it's how you're born. No, but, it, but you get sexual acting upon it is a choice. Like, like for example, there, I know people oh, who... Uh, so, oh, I agree with you. They're acting on it, whether they're born with it or not. That's not the issue. It's no, what they no, do. But like, right, but it's, it's all about consent and all about willingness. But because, again, there are people out there who are straight or gay but choose not to have sex because that's not part of the lifestyle they've choose, chosen to live. And My sexual people, orientation is wrong, you're saying? I'm saying that your, your judgment of others is misplaced, I'm saying. I didn't ask you about that. It says my sexual orientation is to be heterosexual and also to be repulsed by uh, homosexuality. Okay, and uh, I'm writing this out so I can type it in there. Transgenderism and uh, trans. I am. I am so repulsed by transvestite stuff. Uh, right, but why? Why does it bother you? What? Is what I mean, because uh, right, uh, right, we're both Christians. Uh, I mean, I even though you may not class me one, I class you one, right? And it is in the Bible that we're not to judge others, uh, that that we shall be judged. Yet you're judging somebody else to uh, because of the lifestyle they chose that that they've chosen that, that because of the choices they made in their lives because that fits who they are inside. And then you you go into using rather bigoted slurs. Let's let's stop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait 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 wait. So I just put it in there. My sexual orientation is to be heterosexual and also to be repulsed by homosexuality, transgenderism, and transvestism. Now, I'm just asking, is that okay for me to have my sexual orientation? Because that's not what a sexual orientation is. Okay. Sexual orientation is who you choose. No, again, you're married to a woman. If, I, if, if I'm I choose to be correct. that. I choose to right, be right, that, right, yeah. But, but, right, you, right, but uh, how long do you be married to this person, if you don't mind me asking? No, no, no. D define sexual no, 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 orientation. I was, I was define it. How long have you been married to your wife? Almost 30 years in about two or three days. In two days, it'll be 30 years. How about that? All right, happy anniversary. But the problem is, is that you wouldn't want to be with another woman and she will not want to be with another man because you have a sexual attraction to each other that has grown probably with familiar attraction and stuff like that. That's the way that your personal psychological sexual attraction has worked to this woman. The way that somebody else's psychological attraction, it means that they feel that the body they were born with was wrong. Because hey, look, look in the look in the text. Look in the text. Okay, <clears throat> this is off of. Uh, I just went to the dictionary, you know, on Google, and just looked it up. A, a sexual orientation, a person's sexual identity in relation to the gender to which they are attracted, the fact of being heterosexual, homosexual, or bisexual. I identify myself as a heterosexual, who also, because of that, is repulsed by homosexuality, bisexuality, transgenderism, and things like that. So, there you go. Is that okay for me? 
No, because that's not an orientation. An orientation you're you're a hypocrite, is, bigot. I'm sorry, but you're just unreasonable. How, how about because oh, look, 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 is it look, 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 for look, uh, look, 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 look. What you do is you you. I apply the definition. I define it for you. I give you what I am according to what I've chosen. And you say it's not okay for me to choose that, but it's okay for somebody else to choose something else. In other words, you're the bigot. You're the one who's the hypocrite. You're the one who's not being consistent. I'm showing you this, and you don't seem to care because all you're doing is bowing to political correctness. That's all you're doing. You're not thinking this through. No, right. Because well, the thing is, for a start, you're getting it wrong. Transgenderism isn't a sexual issue. It's a gender issue. For a start, it's 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 about having gender doesn't rights. Make, doesn't make a difference. I'm repulsed by it. How are you repulsed by it? Well, how's your, this how's is how. It? Watch this. Ready? That's how I'm repulsed by it. No, no I'm, I'm saying, how does it affect you? Is is a question I'm trying. It to affects get at. me by being repulsed, and I don't like it shoved down my throat. I don't want to put it on TV. I don't want to promote it on radio. I don't want to put it into um, various forms of media, and then uh, me be made to feel bad because I don't agree with their perversion. That's how it affects me, and it affects a lot of people like me who don't like it and who resent the left, the left stopo trying to tell me what I should and should not be feeling in a moral sense because I'm the bigot. You know what? You can screw that. Right, but we're not, we're not telling you how to feel. We're, we're, t we're telling you that... Yes, you that are. The left tells no, us no, no, how no. to feel. Yes, it does. It says we ought not be repulsed. We ought to think. We ought to accept them. That's what it says, that we're obligated to accept them for what they are. That's an attitudinal thing. Don't give me this stuff. Don't give me this. You're just so far left, you can't even see the middle. Gary, did you demand that Matt needed to apologize to Brenda? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because he, he, he based used, on what to Brenda? You mean tranny? He, he he used a bigger term. What bigger term? And so did you. So uh, are you going uh, to apologize to Matt? All right, right. Uh, what? Right. Here's the bigoted term. You just denied I'll, that I'll, Matt can I'll, have his orientation. So you use the same bigoted argument. So are you going to apologize to Matt now? You're judging I, him, which okay, you said if, is wrong. If I use, if I use the bigoted term against Matt, I do apologize. But he he's, he he needs to apologize for using the term tranny, because I don't I know he may not think it is, but it is a offensive term. Well, the guy the guy won't give his birth no, name. No, which girl. Is what he's been asked for four times on four different shows. Girl, he he's but Brenda's is a woman, right? In, in every nope, every demonstrable way, she's a woman. He's not a woman. Right, has he got a penis? Has he got? Let me ask. Has he got a penis? I don't know what what, what phase of transition Brenda is at the moment. Okay, so it, let's say he's got a. I don't. I don't know. I mean, you know, too personal. But if he's got a penis, um, and he has to take chemicals in order to alter his biology. She, well. Hey Matt, why do you think it is that when when he came in, it was the very first time that was one of the first things he made a point to to point out? Because he identifies with yeah. sexuality. Because he's another he, idol. He wanted to make it an issue, didn't he? Yeah, it's serving the flesh. And and I think what it does is it gets people like Gary to 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 plead his case. See, it doesn't work here. For yeah, and and yet Gary. You know, doesn't he claims to be a Christian? Matt, does the Bible teach us that we are not to judge, or does it teach us and actually command us in John seven twenty four to judge, but talks everywhere about the standard? Which one's correct? Actually, it says both, not to judge, but one context has to do with judging someone's salvation when it's not really up to know. But we can in, in certain areas of of that. Um, when we know that they're denying essentials, we can do the same thing Jesus pronounced. Now, also, we are to make spiritual judgments in the First Corinthians 2.15, which I'll put in the text here, says that we can make spiritual judgments. So those who try and use the Bible against us, you know, First Corinthians 2.15 right there, but he was spiritual, appraises all things, and he himself is not appraised by anyone. And the word appraised there in some translations is judges, judges all things. Anacrino, crino is, is to judge, and so anacrino, to appraise, to make judgments upon. So yeah, we can. Yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm just going to turn there because uh, I couldn't bring my logos up on this computer. But John seven twenty four, uh, actually, it's in the Greek. It's a command to judge. We're, we're commanded by God to judge others, and anyone that thinks that we're wrong for Excellent. judging others is judging us. 
Excellent, excellent. There it is, John 7, 24. Do not judge according to um, appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. I'm, I'm going to start using well, that one. And, and in the well, Greek, well, that well, word you, judge I, I, you judge it by is... appearance because, because, because well, hang on a second, you're, you're contradicting that though. Because you're judging this person based upon what you find icky. Not no, 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 no. We're what, judging. What we're, that's my sexual orientation. It, we're judging it based on what God says. That's what Matt is doing. And that's well, first exactly all, what I, first I said. Was. It was just, you know, I'm just using their argument against them is all I'm doing. They used to say, we have a sexual orientation. That's what they said. So therefore, it's okay. Well, then I have a sexual orientation. Therefore, it's okay. But the double standard comes out quickly. For them, it's okay, but not when it's... Uh, when it's us. The left stopo doesn't like the idea, or the gay stopo does not like the idea of people uh, thinking clearly, thinking critically, and using the same arguments against them. We're automatically wrong for that. See, what he should do, if you want to really get in a, in a conversation any better, is say, you know what, I think you have a point there. You have your orientation, and they have their orientation. And then the question should be, which one's the right one? Which, what do we do about the differences? That's how he should do it. Right, but that's not what she's doing. And we stopped referring to him. It, she's a she. No, he was I, I disagree with that. He. He's a he. Okay, okay. How, Scientifically, how I mean, that, and that was the discussion, wasn't it? Science. Okay, he's let's a, talk about yeah. science. He's a so confused which one of us, person. Matt, are you relying on science or feelings when you say he's a he? Uh, based, well, not. I just with his with his birth and. Um, uh, let me just say that I want to answer this accurately. I'm not using science because I haven't tested him. Uh, he said he's born male. He's doing a transition uh, or whatever. And so I disagree with that. It's a legitimate option. And so um, uh, it, it is icky. I think, I think it is icky. And it's, it's not natural. And I don't buy into the liberal thought uh, that justifies various, let's just say, illogical perversions and things like that. I don't buy into it. Okay. So I uh, let's say for example, Brenda has gone through all the transitioning and now has fully transitioned into a female. Is she still a female? Um let, let me let me back up for a second. I'm gonna say something. <clears throat> As a Christian apologist, I have to defend the truth. And I also have to defend the issue of of um, keeping society to be normal in, in the sight of God and others. Now, even though I've been very firm here, you might be surprised, but I can also be very compassionate with someone who I believe is very confused. Let's just say that this, this guy finds my address and he knocks on my door and he identifies himself as this Brenda. I would welcome him in. I said, come on in and sit down. I wouldn't be ready to mock him. I wouldn't be ready to hate him. I wouldn't do anything other than treat him normally, but I would tell him, I have a problem with this transgender thing. And because it's my belief, and because it's my religious belief, and I'm protected according to the Constitution, to have my religious belief in place, that I cannot in good conscience go along with what he says. Now, I hope that he would then say, oh, I can understand that. We have an area of disagreement, and then we discuss the issue of disagreement. Because if he wants to have an argument, and you do too, you need to show me the respect you want me to show that person. But you're not doing it. What I'm doing is battling your attitude. You don't realize okay. this. Okay. Your attitude uh, maybe, 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 is a negative attitude. attitude. I apologize for that. Well, right. Uh, maybe you don't know where I live. Right. I live in Manchester, which is near one of the biggest gay LGBT communities in Britain. So, so if this issue is a bit close to my heart, it, not because I am, but because people I know in my personal life are, and you know, it does again. I don't try, excuse me, to judge them. Again, I try to understand where they're coming from. And I think that, I, I think the problem is, is that you don't actually know anybody who's gone through this process and knows how difficult it is. Oh, I understand right. how difficult it is to some degree. Now, this was what's made fun of me when I was on the Daily Show, when they Frankenstein me and made me say things I didn't really say. But I used to have a friend who, uh, when I was at a gym and he came into the jacuzzi or the spa, whatever you want to call it, there were other people there. He sat down next to me. We just started talking. Within a minute or two, I knew he was uh, gay. But you couldn't tell. 
I just knew. We ended up becoming friends, and uh, we hung around each other for a while. And he was a nice guy, and I suspected that he was uh, gay, and it turned out he was bisexual. And so we went out clubbing together. We went out and did things together. And finally, I still remember this. I still remember this. He sat in the car with me and goes, look, I want to tell you something. We've been friends for a year. And he said, I said, I knew what he was going to say. And he told me he was bisexual. And I said, okay. He knew I was going to go into the ministry. I said, yeah, I know. And he, he was blown away. He said, what do you mean you know? I said, I knew within the first few minutes of, back, of, of meeting you. And he was blown away. For two reasons. One, he said, nobody knows unless I tell him. He says, I'm blown away that you knew. And he says, and second, why would you be my friend? And I said to him, why wouldn't I be? You see, I understand what you're trying to do. Trust me, I do. I was friends with this guy. He ended up getting married to a woman. And the wife at the wedding told me why he got, married her. He said, largely, it was because of my love, my patience, my kindness to him, that he saw that someone could accept him for what he was. Now, here, what's happening is, I'm being told what I need to do. Don't you get it? No, we're asking you. No. We're, 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 we're asking the, the same level of respect that, that you wish <clears> for yourself to treat other people with the same respect. Well, right? well let, me, let me jump in and finish. If you're asking me to, then you're giving me the option, aren't you? Absolutely. And, but if and, I, but if I again, decline... You're not for criticism for not doing it. If I decline, shouldn't we be done with it then? No, because you're not freedom for criticism for not doing it. Well, if, if I decline to agree with you, is that okay? Should we be done with it then? If that's all it is, it's just you asking, and I decline to to uh, to go that way, then shouldn't you just say, okay, we're done? You know, I wanted to see my part, and we move on. Isn't that how it should be? But no, it's not, because you're trying to convince me. You want me to go against my view. You're the one battling me. So, so Matt, let me just give a different perspective for Gary. Um, you say that we should understand. Well, let's let's look at what a non-Christian scientist, expert in a field, says about the issue. Uh, Doctor, uh, his name Paul McHugh. He's at uh, John Hopkins. Okay, he has made it very clear that it is a mental health issue, and that's how it should be treated. Do you think we should treat it as a mental health issue? I'm not sure what just happened from my, my computer. It looks like everybody just left the chat. I'm not sure what just happened. Well, while we, uh, while I'm waiting to see if people are going to join back in or if I'm if I'm still on, <clears throat> I'll just I'll refer to this ar article from John Hopkins University psychiatrist. There is no gay gene is the title. And he basically says that this should be addressed as a uh, as a uh, mental health issue. <clears throat> 